Okay, so what's going on here? Well, it's the uh, end of January. Well, almost. And February's a short month, so I thought I'd start this uh, this this monthly plan a little bit earlier to make up compensate for the shortness of February. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to change over the style of squat for a, for, for February um, and then I should go back to Roman chair squats in uh, March. The um, reason being, as I mentioned before, is to uh, keep the body guessing with a bit of variation. So yeah, you want overall progress and consistency, but you also want variation. So I think that um, there are so many ways to do it. You know, anybody who says that they know exactly what to do, or they, they know the exact protocol, you know, I think you've got to you've got to be very very sceptical. Um, but this idea I've got is that I'm going to do one month of uh, this 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 version, the uh, safety squat bar. Then I'm going to revert back to the uh, Roman chair and vice versa. Now. You get, you're gonna you're gonna laugh at these tiny tiny weights that I'm gonna be using because I'm you know I'm, I'm hoping to do EMOM again. So if you notice, I've got the heart rate monitor set up, and that will indicate how hard this really is. Because even though the weights will be, are gonna be puny, the lack of rest means that it's gonna be rep after rep after rep. So the heart rate should you know it should get into the 160s. I'm imagining. 160s for me at my age is now maximum. Yeah, I think you know the very very maximum heart rate now I can get is about 170. You know, I think I got that about. I think I saw that about a month ago. I was you know, desperately trying to uh, test my max, and I got to about I got to 170. Okay, which is above average actually. Now the average is uh, 220 minus your age, which for me would give you 162. So I'm still above average as regards the uh, heart rate. Whether or not that's a good sign, I've got no idea. But uh, sounds good to me. It's an individual variation, I suppose. You know, the formula itself, it's probably, you know, all, it's just the this is the average, and that's simple as that, no more than that. Uh, so what I'm what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start with absolutely body weight. Yeah, I've done I've done a, a bit of a dynamic stretching and moving around and all that sort of thing. I'm going to start with a, a bit of a body weight and then then the empty bar. Then I'm going to put a tiny weight on and take it from there. And it, should, it should be hopefully 10 sets of uh, whatever. I don't think it's going to be 10 sets of 10. See what happens. Okay, let's have a look at the book. What does the book say? Here we go. Yeah. So starting from absolute scratch again. Very little weight. I'm wearing knee sleeves. My knees, I think they walk, you know, they're not, they're not tight or anything. I'm not sure if they give any extra kilos, but uh, they do seem to warm up the knees, which is what I, I may be using for to keep the knees warm. Uh, comfort, really. And I find that uh, of, of all the joints in my body, the knees are the most problematic. Uh, probably because they'll be used through, through lots and lots of running. They seem to bounce back eventually if you give them a bit of rest, but. Okay, so as I say, this is all going to be EMOM when I, when I eventually get going. So the first set is simply, oh, this, is, this is going to be, you know, this is going to be awkward. I've not done these for a while. But, but even, even though I've been doing a form of squat, you know, the Roman chair squat, it's still not preparing you for, for this exact movement. Uh, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can, I think. Now, there's, there's a, a bucket with a little weight on, and that's going to be my depth indicator. You know, I, d I don't sit on it at all. It, it won't hold my weight if I do. It's just touch it, 
touch and go just indicates that you're getting the uh, carbon copy reps every time. Uh, that's about it, really. So, as I say, yeah, you know, the weights are going to be per 30. You know, I've, I've been a powerlifter, you know, I've experienced the sort of like, you know, the uh, up to 500 pounds on my back. I think in competition, the best I did in competition, I think, was. 215 or two, no, 212 and a half I got and 215 I got one white and two reds. I thought it was there, but <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, in, in training I went up to 500 pounds, uh, but in training and uh, in competition are different things. In competition, you've really got to sink it in, you know, the uh, IPF, you've really got to sink it. You know they, they they don't want borderline, especially when you when uh, you know the weights that I was using were um, they were they were regional records, so obviously they're not gonna, they're not going to give any sort of, I don't know, a regional record is not 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 any incredible you know it's good I like you know I like to think of it as good but a regional record even even though it's only regional they're not going to give them away you know they want you to sink that thing deep and. Uh, I think often, often that was my issue. Um, I found that the uh, the very low debts really bothered my knees. However, let's get on with it. So the first little bit, there's no, I'm not measuring this at all. I'm just going to do it. Uh, don't know if you can see. Don't know what you can see. Yeah. And even that feels very awkward. I've got a lot of weight. I'm holding a lot of weight in my hands just to get the movement. But uh, actually, it's all the same squat in the first few set. First few sets is, you know, it's like thin man on the uh, with those. Yeah, what does that do to heart rate? Yeah, I mean, it already gets it up, and that's just the... It's just the first of the warm-ups. Let me set it up a bit better. Okay, getting more weighted down. So this time I'll put put the bar on. I'm still not I've still not got the timer or anything on it. I say this is, this is not going to be pretty. Not done these for a while, so. Well, first first few reps, it's just going to slaughter my uh, my joints. Okay, yeah, I mean, empty bar, you can see the heart rate. So I'm only going to put a, I'm going to put a tiny weight on. Do this EMOM. 
So again, you know, like I said in previous videos, the difficulty is not the not the weight, it's the it's the emom, it's a lack of rest, it just accumulates. So it becomes it becomes really an issue of cardio. So that's just a five kilo. I'm not sure what the actual bar weighs. I think I think it's over twenty kilos. But I call I call the bar twenty just for convenience. It doesn't really matter. We call it thirty kilos. Okay, so any, anyone who knows anything about squatting realizes that that is a puny weight. That is that is a sort of weight that. Uh, You know, a lot of powerlifters, they won't even take it because they couldn't, they couldn't get down to depth with it. You know, they need some, need some weight on their back to get to the depth. Myself included at one point, I never, I always used to start with 60 kilos and that, you know, even that was a murderous to get down to depth when, you, when you're cold. Anyway, having said all that, let's do it, 10 sets of 10, hopefully. <laughs> it is what it is. I made my excuses. The weight is pathetic, I know that, but the cardio will be hard, and that's going to be shown by the heart rate monitor. Yeah, and I've got I've got this uh, got this new timer. <laughs> probably gonna you know probably gonna run for about five minutes and then uh, ask me to uh, buy something. I can see it coming. I don't know if you can see that. So you just put in the two sets. Ten sets, work time one minute, rest time zero, press start, and there we go. Probably give me five seconds. Yeah, I mean, I'm, all, you know, I'm anticipating the, uh, you know, the burning lungs already. So uh, let's just see what happens. <clears throat> First time round tends to be very, very shaky. By the time I get to the end of the month, and I've done about eight sessions, should be some improvement. Yeah, look at the heart rate. Getting up there already. Okay. 
do the oxygen mask, oxygen tent. Sixties now. Oh, it's hard. Just the cardio. Nine. Could have got it, but don't like going to absolute failure or to the edge until near the end. Doesn't recover on the heart rate. Look, 150. Nine. Oh. <sighs> so three tens and three nines. Four sets to go. Eight. Oh. <sighs> 
Go on to the right. Sets to go. Ah, oh, cannot breathe. Like ten minutes is on fire. Well, it's not really, but feels like it. Oh, go on. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Yes, that's killer. It's killing me. <laughs> One more set though. So, happiness all around. Get rid of this thing. <sighs> what a killer. Five. <sighs> oh, ten. The finish on the forest. <sighs> on sixties. No joke whatsoever. That's hard. Not the weight. The cardio demand. I show by the watch. I'm a relatively fit guy. That is hard. No one does uh, that sports done for today. Okay, I'm gonna give you a treat. Same procedure. On the stiff legged deadlift. Let me set up a while. <sighs> Again, same story, same basic idea. Nothing to do with the uh, Nothing to do with the size of the weight at this stage. It's all about repping, 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 emum. Emum repping over and over. That's what makes it hard. The weight itself is not the great challenge. Okay, it's very crowded in this little gym of mine now. Usually I would put the bike out of the But it's really, I don't like getting wet through. Let's get it over here, as much out of the way as I can.
Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but this. You see this? That's a 20 kilo bar, 20 kilo, so 60 kilos altogether. I'm going to start with slightly higher. Start with, yeah, start with, start with 75. That's falling to pieces, it is tightening up. The vast majority of this stuff is second hand. Oh, let's go off the deadlift in there. Okay, let's get 75 on the bar. Um, Two and a half. Couple of two and a half. Okay. That's seventy five. This is straps. Not that with this way that you need straps really, but uh, I like to keep all the reps the same, so all the reps I use straps on. Uh, I've only recently begun to use them. I, I always used to use a mixed grip on deadlift, but now I tend to use a double overhand. Uh, Got to be wary about bicep tears. I'm not even sure that a double overhand makes any difference whatsoever to bicep tears. But I tell you what, it does make a difference. Not having so much weight on the bar. So this particular phase of my training, the weight is uh, fairly minimal. Now this, as it says on the box, this is a. Uh, Hit at 60 plus. This is not power lifting. This is simply keeping fit. Okay, so what's set up? We've got the got the old watch there, so you can uh, you can be sure that I'm working hard, even though it looks easy. Get the timer going. One, email. Same story. I'm going to do 10 sets of 10. On the ideal, it's not going to be 10 sets of 10 though. So it's going to go a few sets at 75. Then a few sets at 65. Keep the reps up. The last time I did sets was 70 and 60, but just in the interest of keeping it, keeping it a bit of area. It's quite a substantial weight increase. You know, five kilos on 70, what's that? About seven, eight percent or so. Five kilos on 60. Anyway, what's it matter? Just work hard. So. Oh, it's gone off again. I can't believe this thing. Technology. Okay, I press start. I'm going to miss the first one. No matter. 
Make life harder for the next set. And the heart rate rockets again. Seven. Ooh. Do the hit of one sixties. He just slaughters you. Take the five sets on this. And I'll take the weight down. You get seven, hopefully. Yeah, that was done. Going to pieces, bring that together. <sighs> One more set, and I'll take the weight down. I tell that to my heart and lungs. Okay, go for ten again. Mm. Mm. 
Well, I could have got it, but look at the heart rate. It's killing me. What's coming next? Eight? Oh no, I guess eight. I cannot breathe. No joke. Yeah, this style of training is great for the cardio, high end cardio, but uh, not for the strength. I like to have it all. So I think this. Cardio strength blend. Good for fat burning, I believe. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> oh, six, Jesus. Dude. So high. About two sets to go. Well, I'm tempted to put, put it on 60, but I'll stick with this. Maybe 65. Okay, last set coming up. Oh. Oh, oh I'm gone. <laughs> Christ, you know it ain't easy. Seven. <laughs> yeah, that's it for today. As we get out to the uh, harder end of things, I mean, there's plenty left to do. I do abs and calves, some grip work, but it's all the small stuff. Rarely want to show that on video now and again, but rarely. So that was a uh, e mom. <laughs> Jeez, honestly, man. Emo, safety squat bar, three-legged deadlifts. Okay, laugh at the weights, 
Uh, respect the heart rate. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's it. Thank you very much.